this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, I'm going to be joined by someone who you need to guess. Can you guess who I'm going to be joined by? Can you guess who's going to emerge from the painting? It might not be who you think it is. You might think it's someone else. It's Lee Bear. I wouldn't have guessed it. <laughs> what a surprise. Lee is joining me for a change. How are you doing today, Lee? If you're feeling good today, then stand on your head. <laughs> oh no, what's up, Lee? Why, why aren't you good today? Well, what, what's up, Lee? I know what will cheer you up and what will cheer me up even more than I already am. It's, of course, our breakfast. And today for breakfast, we're going to have a cake. No? No? We, we, we're not having cake today? An apple? No, 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 no. Are you trying to put me on a diet again? No? What, what's happened? What, have, you, have you lost the cake? <gasps> oh no, what happened? Did you not bake any? Or was, was the cake stolen? Um, okay. Um, uh, you, you sure you didn't, you didn't eat the cake? You sure that, you sure that it's so, so you, you didn't eat the cake? You, you, you promise you didn't eat the cake? Okay, I guess I'll believe you. So, so apple is our breakfast, is it? Brilliant, a shy, okay, well, let's, let's eat the apple then. This is, this is a, a worthy replacement. No, 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 no. I do, I do actually like a good apple. I mean, it's not a replacement from a cake. I mean, we could have an apple cake. <laughs> that could be a replacement. Anyway, let's not dwell on that. Let's go outside and uh, say hello to Esther and play the shoot the arrow at the minecart game. And wait a minute, there's no Esther either. Hmm. Has. I think we have a thief. I think we have a thief around here. They stole the cakes and they stole our chicken. Hmm, okay, well luckily we are building a police station and so we are going to be policemen and we are going to go and try and get to the bottom of this mystery. But before we do that, we're going to have some fun. We're going to play the shoot the arrow at the moving minecart game. And in the game you need to shoot an arrow at a moving minecart. If you destroy the minecart, then you win. If you stop the minecart from moving, uh, but don't destroy it, then you have to do a forfeit. <laughs> and uh, Lee's there having his little dance there just to, just to limber up. He's got to go and get his hips ready, uh, ready to take the shot and he's going to fire! Yes! Yes, you did it, Lee! You actually managed to do it! So what, what, what was that? Can, can you do that technique again for me, Lee? How, how did you do that? I think I need to, I think I need to, to copy your technique a little bit there, Lee. I don't, <laughs> maybe that's going to help me. All right, let me have a go. Let me have a go. Let me have a go doing your technique and uh, we'll see if it's going to work. If you go reset it, Lee, if you go, oh, careful down there. <laughs> you uh, missed the uh, the water a little bit there. All right, let me go and try and use Lee's technique and uh, let me see if I'm going to be, um, if I'm going to be able to hit it as well. That was amazing. Right, give it a little nudge, Lee. And then uh, stand back. Maybe jump in the water or behind the protective glass or something. But <laughs> I might be a bit of a wild shot. Right, so you've got to do the little the little hip wiggle. And then line it up. And then fire! Nope, nope. I guess I guess I just have really bad aim. Oh, well. Oh, ow, I forgot about that. Right, let me just go and stand right next to it and see if I can hit it. Come on. Yay! There we go. Not quite as impressive. <laughs> I did it from one block away rather than about 20. But that, that that's neither here nor there. But this means we can uh, begin a new game. So in the next episode, in the beginning of all of my videos, we're going to have a, a new little uh, mini game to play. Uh, but while we're over here, uh, let's go and head over to the Love Garden and see who we're adding. And today, uh, we're adding uh, Rendos. And it's a kind of a weird way of saying it. it's like R3ND0S. But <laughs> it's uh, another YouTuber who does amazing speed art videos. And uh, he actually did a speed art video of me and uh, Ballistic Squid as well. So you can see a little bit of on your screen here. And it's actually the uh, the real me and the real squid rather than the, uh, the real cat and squid. <laughs> and so, yeah, I thought it was absolutely amazing. I'll leave a link in the description to the full video if you want to go and check it out. But I wanted to say thank you very much, Rendos, uh, for making the video and for sending it to me. And welcome, of course, to my love garden. Anyway. Lee, it seems like we do have a cake thief on the prowl, and so it looks like we need to get that police station finished as quickly as possible. And we also have another reason for trying to make the uh, the police station extra special, and that's because we are building it in the memory of Spring. Sadly, in my last episode, there was a tragedy, and I did lose Spring, and I am still upset about it, 
we had a, a nice little funeral at the end of the video, uh, but we're now going to be uh, building the police uh, in uh, the police station in Springs Honor, and so I want it to be as good as it possibly can be. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's take a new dog with me. I promise, dogs. I promise you, I will look after you uh, better than I did uh, Spring. And uh, let's take let's take uh, Benji with me today. And Benji, you're down here. I promise you, Benji, you are going to be absolutely fine. Do you believe me, Benji? Of course he does. He's very trusting, Benji. That's one of his best traits. And uh, let's get some pork chops for him, uh, just in case he uh, gets hurt or a little bit hungry during the video. I promise you, Benji. I promise you I will look after you. There we go. We've got some food for you there, Benji. <laughs> I love the way all of their, their little heads tilt. <laughs> I feel like I'm conducting them like a choir of people. I'm conducting them with all their little heads tilting like that. Look at them go. <laughs> I'm doing the choreography for the, the doggy head spin dance. There we go. Anyway, let's not get too distracted because I do want to... Uh, try and get the uh, the police station finished in this video. And if you didn't see the last video, uh, it's over here. And good idea, Lee. Make sure the coast is clear. Make sure uh, there's no going to be uh, no googlies coming up behind us. And but yeah, this is what we uh, we did in the the last video. Um, you can see the outside of it there. There's a little grave that I added down for spring. I made it uh, look a little bit nice. And I did a little sapling here. I thought was a uh, quite a cute thing uh, fitting for spring. And uh, we actually forgot in the last episode to uh, go up top and uh, add in all of the uh, the flowers. You may have remembered uh, that I mentioned that I did want to cover the uh, the top in flower pots and flowers. And so what we can do at the beginning of the video uh, is go around and uh, do all of them. So it's basically just going to um, alternate uh, between red and uh, yellow flowers. Uh, all the way around the outside and it should uh, fit in perfectly and uh, Benji Benji no Benji <laughs> please Benji please stay safe I can't go through the tragedy again please stay safe Benji please <laughs> you look after him there Lee that's it give, give him a pork chop make him happy again all right let's go and uh, add all of these uh, these flowers around the top here I'm just gonna rearrange it just so I can switch between them really quick and uh, if I just alternate around the whole outside, because this is uh, the playful popo station, I want it to look uh, nice and bright and happy and not like a uh, boring normal police station. So there we go. This should fit in perfectly. And I'm going to go over the top here. And Benji, if you're going to climb up here, you stay up here. No jumping up and down. This is not a bouncy castle. It may look like one, but this is not a bouncy castle. Right? If he gets up here, I'm going to sit him down because <laughs> otherwise he is going to be all over the place. So yeah, we're going to build the, uh, the top up here, uh, do the flowers. And then we're going to go inside and build uh, all of the uh, the rooms uh, on the on the inside. And there's going to be a few different rooms. I think I'm going to start off by building like a, a little reception room, uh, which is basically just going to be as you walk in, uh, there could be someone on reception. Basically, probably me or Lee, unless we <laughs> hire any other uh, policemen around here. And then I'm going to do the interrogation room in case we need to interrogate people. And uh, interrogating is basically where you're you're asking them questions to try and find out some information. And uh, then also just like an office room, which is going to be like the the case room. And so when we're we're trying to solve a case, we're going to be in there looking at clues and trying to work it out to try and work out who has stole Esther and who has stole all of the cake. So here we go. This is the this is the outside completely done. And that looks really cool. I like it. Actually, uh, there's one more thing I want to add. Uh, if I make a, a crafting table and uh, plonk it down here, I'm actually going to add like a, a lantern outside the front. And so I'm going to make a, a, a couple fences. Uh, I think literally two should be fine. And do one there and one there. And if I put some glowstone underneath it like that. Uh, there we go. Here's a, a light at the front uh, just to light the entire thing out. And uh, I guess I should probably put a, a door on as well while I'm here. Uh, so let me go make myself a door and uh, put that on the front. There, there we go. So the outside is now 100% complete. Let's go and try and get started on the, the inside. So Lee's there uh, getting started doing the uh, the reception desk. I'm actually going to add uh, a few um, uh, one uh, iron bars on the front there. And uh, I think Lee, I think Lee's got some glass on him as well. So we're going to do glass uh, on either side here and then the iron bars in the middle. I'm sorry, Lee, you're getting completely in your way there. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so, yeah, if you carry on doing the reception, maybe add like a little desk or like a, a chair down in there somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go and build the interrogation room, which is going to be uh, right next door uh, along here. So that's going to go... Uh, along quite far along to here then at the back here this is where the cells are going to be and these are going to be uh, four blocks by four so I'm going to go one two three four and then this first wall is going to be here I'm going to go the entire way uh, along the back along here and then in the middle I'm just going to do another wall here so these are going to be the two cells and uh, I'm calling them cells they're basically like playrooms to be honest because <laughs> the uh, the punishment uh, for Sephora coming in here is to um, to be playing constantly you're not going to be an inmate you're going to be a playmate so <laughs> it's going to be full of toys and all sorts of things and you're not allowed to stop playing. That's the, the only rule if you get sent in here. So if anyone has been bad and gets sent in here, uh, then yeah, they're just not allowed to stop playing. So uh, we are going to do a... Um are going to do a roof at some point, uh, but first I'm going to go 
and uh, try and build this uh, interrogation room. I think I'm making it a little bit too big because uh, we're also going to have some rooms for uh, guests. Uh, so sorry if someone comes to visit one of the playmates, uh, they can go and speak to them through some iron bars using like a, a little telephone, <laughs> which would be quite cool. And so I'm going to add some rooms for that, probably along here. If I add a, a door there, uh, this can be where you get in. Then I'm going to add uh, some more iron bars here uh, so you can go and speak to them uh, in there. This is going to be really cool, actually. Uh, so let me just go and build up the uh, the rest of these walls uh, with the interrogation room. And uh, while I'm doing that, uh, I guess Lee can go and start doing some of the uh, the ceiling. So let me go and work out. Well, let's have a, a double door here then because there's not an exact middle. And I'm going to make uh, another crafting table uh, just for the inside. And I know there's one just outside, but it's just easier just to have one right next to you. <laughs> so let me go and make uh, a couple uh, wooden doors. Uh, put one down there and uh, another uh, wooden door down here. Uh, on the other side and then this is where the interrogation room is going to be so I need the interrogation chair and so let me just go and make I uh, just do a wooden chair for now seeing as that's pretty much all I've got on me and uh, actually let's, let's do a let's do a cobblestone chair just to make it a, a little bit more menacing so let's go and uh, put this down uh, like there like that and uh, when you're interrogating someone you normally shine a light in their eyes so luckily I've still got some glowstone uh, so I'm going to go and uh, do another little fence uh, with some glowstone and uh, then I'm going to go and do that above here oh I've got no ceiling to put it on yet if I put that one there and we can fill the rest of the ceiling in later so the light is going to be right in front of their eyes as I'm interrogating them and then I'm going to do a chest full of all of my all of my things that I'm going to use to interrogate them and god look <laughs> look how close that light is to them they're just literally staring right into it that's how Right, let me go make a, a chest and I'm going to put that down here and Lee you can do the same as well We can go and fill it full of a, a load of things that we can use to interrogate people with I could if they don't like carrots I could put some carrots in and feed it to them I could put in some if I put in some flowers I could wave it under their nose and make them sneeze Oh look looks like Lee's done the same we made a little pretty pattern down there And uh, what else can we put in there maybe like put some eggs in there Lee So we could throw eggs at them and do all sorts of other things to try and uh, interrogate them to try and find out uh, What we need to find out and Benji what are you doing jumping around up the the top up there <laughs> right so I need to do the uh, the same on this side uh, with the uh, the little uh, the little room here so you can speak to them and actually I need to do this uh, white wall I realize I did that uh, out of the the wrong kind of wall here this needs to be uh, out of a uh, not white wall it's a uh, snow along here so this needs to be uh, snow all the way along here then I think I'm actually going to do iron bars in the middle here uh, so the playmates can see each other and I think it's kind of good just saying like I can lock you behind bars just sounds a uh, uh, a little bit cooler uh, but anyway now we have the interrogation room Lee I think it's about time we got to the bottom to where the missing cakes have gone. And I do believe you, Lee, but just to rule you out 100%, I'm getting hungry now and I want my cake, so we got to get to the bottom of this. We can interrogate each other. Come in here. Come in here. I'm going to lock the doors. Go and sit in the interrogation chair. And uh, we're going to try and find out where the cakes are. Okay, what have, we, what have we got in here to interrogate Lee with? Right. Did you steal the cakes, Lee? Did you steal them? If you don't tell me the truth, I'm going to pour water over your head. Right, take that! Ah, I oh know! I just poured it over my own head! That backfired, that backfired! Right, that's not working, that's not making him talk. But I know what will make him talk. How about throwing eggs to your face? Tell me where the cakes are hidden or I'm gonna throw eggs at you! You gonna tell me? Right, that's it! That's what you get! Oh no, that was really horrible. I'm sorry, Lee, I'm sorry, Lee, okay. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Right, uh, let's make you sneeze. <laughs> right, tell me where they are or I'm gonna wave these flowers in your face. Do you know where they are? No? You don't know where they are? Right! Take that! Take that! Achoo! 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 <laughs> oh, you didn't take the cakes, did you, Lee? I believe you. I was only playing. I was only playing interrogation. Let's, uh, let's, shall we, shall we forget this? Shall we go try and find them? We, let's be policemen, okay? Let's, let's be detectives and let's try and find where the missing cakes are. And oh, what's this? What's this? I think I found a clue, Lee. Follow me. Stay behind me. Stay behind me, Detective Lee. <gasps> a trail. A trail of feathers. Maybe this, maybe this, because they, they took Esther as well. They've left a trail of feathers. Aha. A trail of feathers leading behind the fire station. Aha. Oh, okay. There's no one behind here. Looks like they've looped around here. Keep an eye out for any ooglies. You as well, Benji. The, the new police dog. Ah, they've gone around this way. <gasps> the squid tank. Squid took them. Oh, no. No one's in the squid tank. Ooh, it's leading to to round the round to my melon moment. Ah, it was stolen by the melons. No, there's no one here. What did the crazy cow take them? No, it doesn't seem to be any cakes in there. Uh, any at Stampy's Hot Buns? Oh, there's a zombie. Ah, did you steal them, zombie? Was it you? Was it you, be honest, zombie? Was it? Oh, I don't care. I'm gonna take you out anyway because you're a smelly googly. There we go. I took him out. And all it leads to 
Oh, it leads to, oh, the pick a pet pet shop it leads to. <gasps> and wait a minute. What's that in the window? Cakes! We found the cakes, Lee! We found the cakes! They're in here! <laughs> what? How did the cakes get inside of here? This is... This is crazy! How did the cakes... <gasps> Esther! Esther! Esther, did you steal the cakes? Esther stole all of the cakes to take them here to share them with her animal friends! She wasn't stealing them, she was sharing them with all of the other animals! Look! She's given animals to all of the uh, the other animals in here and even put some in here for the googlies! The googlies don't deserve any cakes. Maybe the googlies don't like cakes so uh, she bought them it for a punishment. Okay, so... You were the cake thief, Esther. I would have never have guessed it. I would have honestly never have guessed it. And here we go. You can have that, that egg there. <laughs> and look, Esther loves it. Look at her. You look so proud of yourself, Esther, because you stole the cakes and you got away for, uh, with it for so long. <laughs> oh, dear. At least we got to the bottom of it. And now we can eat some cakes. <gasps> nom, 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 nom. Nom 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 nom, so many cakes. I think I'm just gonna keep coming back here now and eating uh, all of the cakes. <laughs> as long as Lee's allowed a few of them back. Is that okay, Esther? Can Lee have one or two of them back so I can still have them for breakfast? Okay, I think Esther's okay with that. Anyway, let's go back to the police station. <laughs> and let's go and get it, and let's go and get it uh, finished up then, shall we? Well, there we go. We've already solved one mystery as the uh, the new detectives on the block. <laughs> A successful first uh, case, Lee. Well done, well done. Anyway, let's go inside, and uh, let's go and try and get this uh, finished off then, shall we? So, uh, we need to actually, we need to add some doors to the cell would be useful. I tell you what, Lee, if you go and uh, start filling in all of the, the ceiling... Uh, I guess if we do it all uh, at this level, um, yeah, I think this will be fine. If you fill it all in about here, and uh, if you go and start doing that, uh, I'm going to go and finish off these rooms. And of course, uh, for the the cells, we need iron doors rather than uh, wooden doors, just to make sure uh, the uh, the playmates aren't able to escape if they're being naughty. I would lock Esther in here, but seeing as she uh, she was only stealing the cakes to share them, I think I'm going to let her off with just a warning this time. So let me go and uh, put a door down here as well, uh, just like that. And then put that door down there. Uh, that's where the, the cells are going to be. And there's going to be another room uh, the whole way along here. Uh, which is where I said we're going to be uh, trying to solve the cases. So let me go and uh, build uh, along here. Sorry, Lee, I keep getting in your way today. We're <laughs> banging into each other all over the place. Uh, so yeah, this is going to lead to uh, here. And then I think it's going to go like... So if there's going to be a doorway... Uh, on the same side here. I guess it's just going to basically line up with this and go along here like this So this is going to be the uh, the other entrance to the, the the visitors room And why do I keep building it all out of blue wall? I keep doing it wrong I need to go and build that out of snow to keep the pattern. I know actually I've run out of snow Do you have any do you have any spare snow you can throw down at me Lee? Can you can you make it snow? Can you make it snow at me? There we go <laughs> Oh, you should throw it down and throw it down like one by one and then it can be like it's snowing Yay, it's snowing! Yay, Merry Christmas everyone! Oh, sorry, I'm getting a bit excited. I'm getting a bit early here. There we go. <laughs> I probably needed like hardly any snow at all, but it's good to have some uh, Good to have some spare. So uh, I'm going to move that painting for now. I might put that back inside there though and uh, build this along here. And then this is where this room's going to be. Then I just need to put one door in the, the middle. And I've not really looked at the uh, the reception yet either. Oh, this is kind of cool. So this is like where you, uh, when you first come in, if you need to uh, report a, a robbery or a crime, you can go and speak to the, uh, the receptionist uh, who should be behind there. Then I'm going to do a doorway uh, about in the middle here. This should be round about the middle here. And then if I go and uh, make a door... I can go and put that in there. Actually, I need to do a, a few doors as well. So I need to do a, a door leading to um, to the uh, the uh, the visiting rooms as well. So let me go and make uh, three wooden doors. One, two, three. Just like that. I can put one down there and one down here and then one down there. And I need to add some some buttons to open the uh, the cells as well. And oh, oh <laughs> there we go. Now it's snowing. Now it's really snowing. Do you want to start a snow fight? Do you want to start a snow fight? <laughs> I don't actually have any snowballs. I can't make them because my uh, my uh, my shovel uh, is like a silk touch one, so I just get the the block back. Right? It looks like Lee's trying to get some snowballs. We're gonna have a snow fight in a middle uh, in a minute. Right? So I need to make some I need to make some buttons. Oh, actually, I know I've got some smooth stone smelting. Can I get past one second, Lee? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right? Let me go and grab this smooth stone uh, to make some some stone buttons. And uh, oh, thanks for the snowballs. And then um. I can do that so they can get in, uh, but because it's buttons only on the outside, uh, they won't be able to get back out again. And I'm also going to do some levers, uh, which are going to be like uh, telephones uh, for the, the visitors. So uh, if you try and finish off doing the ceiling, oh, most of it's done already, actually. It's just uh, uh, some of it's uh, blue wall and some of it's snow. It doesn't matter for now, though. Right, so if I go and do that there and that there, 
And then if I go and do these levers, uh, which are going to be like telephones, I can do one there. And then I'll go inside and do the, the ones on the other side as well. Uh, so let me just go and hop inside and go and place that one there. And if I just jump over the other side here. <laughs> and now I have locked myself in jail. Um, Lee! Lee, I'm a little bit... A little bit locked in jail. Um, I didn't steal the cakes, I promise. Aha, I can escape. No, I can't. I'm banging my head. I can't escape. I am actually stuck. Uh, Lee, can I? Oh, sorry. I missed it. There we go. <laughs> and uh, we are going to make the uh, the cells a little bit brighter and happier. Uh, but we've probably just about run out of time here. But we do uh, have time for a quick snow fight. And so we're going to do that. <laughs> and then finish off the uh, the uh, popo station uh, in the next episode. So snow fight, Lee. Snow fight. Snow fight. Snow fight. You can't get me. You won't be able to get me. You can't get me running away <laughs> right i need to get oh oh he's going up to he's going up to go do that oh no, sorry benji sorry benji benji doesn't like snow oh where's lee's oh he's hiding down in the water he's been very sneaky he's been very sneaky all right let's try and sneak up on him i don't think he knows where i am sneaking around the back of the melon tree he's trying to find me i got you lee i got you lee i got you lee i got you lee run away run out of snowballs run away run away come on benji stick with me keep running <laughs> oh dear i love having snowball fights in minecraft anyway so as I did say, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. Good game, Lee. Good game. Well played. Well played, Lee. Good fun. Good fun. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have run out of time here. In the next episode, uh, I'm going to finish off uh, building the uh, the rest of the inside here. It's pretty much done, to be honest. I just need to build the uh, this room uh, to make it a bit fancier. And then also the uh, the cells in here as well. The uh, the playrooms, I guess we can call them. And uh, yeah, then I'm also uh, going to try and make a um, police-themed minigame. And uh, me and Lee are going to have a little uh, 1v1 competition on that. Uh, so yeah, you can look forward to that in the next video. I want to thank you all for now very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!